can you have a squared circle? So that's an impossible existence. So we are left with possible existence and necessary existence. Okay, so now this doesn't need justification. There are two criteria. There is necessary existence and there's possible existence. And we've both accepted that. I'm saying, so, if it's the case that it's one of these two criteria, yes. how do we know yeah. that it's one of the two? Good. So what we do is, for example, we put it into our real life. So for example, do you accept that there are dependent things within our universe? Yeah. Okay, so those dependent things are yourself, yeah. my trainers, yeah. the universe, um, the, the trees, the, the, the trees chairs, everything is dependent. Okay. So, okay, good. So we cannot have an infinite regress of dependent things. We can't. It's an impossibility. It's impossible. You're saying it entails a contradiction. What's the contradiction? No, no. The contradiction is that you cannot have an infinite regress of dependent things because it's a contradiction. You're just restating the premise. You haven't told me the contradiction. No, no, no. The premise is very simple. We cannot have an infinite regress of dependent things because dependent things within their nature depend on something else for its existence. So if it requires on something else for its existence, how could it infinitely exist? No, no, no. The chain infinitely exists. The individual thing is an infinite exists. The, the particulars within the chain, right? The particulars, they, those, no, no. every particular yeah. has, is, is contingent. And contingent yeah. facts require necessary facts to explain it. Yes. You're saying that yeah. if there's never, if, if the chain never breaks, that's impossible. No, 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 if no, you're saying if it's impossible, it yeah. tells a contradiction. What's the contradiction in no, saying no, no. that an infinite I'm, regression is possible? No, what I'm saying is, you cannot have an infinite regress of dependent things because a dependent thing is something that requires on something else for its existence. Okay, something that requires on something else for its existence means that if I require to survive on water and the sun ray, like for example the sun, the sun is um, on the yeah, 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 exactly. On so we cannot have a infinite regress of things that are depending on each other, depends on each other, depends on each other, going on forever. It's, it's, it's the fallacy of infinite regress. I don't accept it as a fallacy. No, it's huh? fallacious. If we say How can it not be fallacious? Because when we say something is impossible or yeah. fallacious, we're yeah. saying it breaks one of the three fundamental laws of logic. Which so, is what? So it would be either law of identity, which doesn't apply in the context of the It would okay. be law of exclusive middle, which could somewhat apply. But the one we're talking about is law of non-contradiction. We're saying that if it's, the, if it's the case that it's impossible, yeah. it entails a contradiction. What's the contradiction? Well, exactly. What's the that, contradiction? That it cannot exist infinitely on its own. But that's just the assertion of the premise. That's no, it's not a social of the premise, it's very simple. In, in something that's independent, like you said, it requires a, something that is necessary, that is uh, uh, necessary, self-sufficient and independent to give rise to it. You're claiming that, for example, is the universe dependent? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? When you say the universe, what do you mean? The universe? Everything that's in the universe? All, so the universe. The set of all particulars? Sorry? The set of all particulars? Let's say. Yeah. How do you know it's every particular within a set is contingent? No, no, no. No, for example, what I'm saying is that in that, in that set, the set in itself, it's dependent. I don't, I don't yes, of course, because the thing is, for example, we have a set amount of energy within our universe. Yeah? Okay. The fact that we have a set amount of units, like for example, uh, the, the second law of thermodynamics, that energy cannot be created or destroyed. Yeah? For example, and that's what some people use this as like, oh yeah, this, is, this means that um, energy has been there forever. No, it can change forms. But the fact that there's a set amount of energy within our universe shows that it is dependent. Even though it cannot be created or destroyed, like you said. I don't say how I Depen For example, energy cannot be created or destroyed? Okay, does that mean that it's necessary? No, it doesn't. Because if it can't be created or destroyed, do you say it's no, 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 no. Just because it cannot be created or destroyed doesn't mean it's independent or necessary. Because the fact that energy can change form, yeah. it can be any other way, yeah. shows it's dependent. Just because it can change, for example, when I burn no, paper, is still, when I burn a paper and the paper turns into smoke, it doesn't mean the energy disappears, it's changed form. Yeah. But it's still dependent. But the energy itself is the thing that is not changed. It's still dependent. The matter is just a different form of energy. I understand, but the matter has changed, it's still dependent. And what? Because it just changed form. It, even though that paper that I burnt, it didn't disappear, it changed form into a different form of energy. But it's still dependent. But so I, it requires something that is independent, self-sufficient and necessary to make sense. You cannot have... A, the, the, the premise of the conditions of the argument is you cannot have an infinite regress of dependent things. It all has to stop somewhere. I, I agree that yeah. intuition would yeah. say that we have to have a grounding for all contingent facts. No, uh, argument, no, of course. So the argument you need to employ yeah. is that this is, a, this is a necessary. You're saying, well, exactly. That's you're what saying, saying. You're saying the negation of this argument is impossible. And if, if you're saying if it's impossible, you you're mean? saying it entails a contradiction. So the negation is that of, 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 an, infinite regress, of an infinite regress is to, is to say that an infinite regress is impossible. You believe that, right? Yes, an infinite regress is impossible. When you, when you say impossible in logic, you mean it entails a contradiction. What's the contradiction? No, no, okay, look, look, okay, let's let's take the contradiction out there. Is it possible? The okay, one second. Is it possible that infinite regress of dependent things can exist? I don't take a position. No, no, that, that, that's, that's a cop-out. I don't take a position. That's a cop-out. I don't know. 
Das ist Kopper. Das ist Kopper. Das ist Das ist Kopper. 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 That's but a cop-out. Because you have a position. Right? Because, no, 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 no. What you're doing now is logically, if you're a person of logic that follow these uh, premises, you can't come and say, oh, now here, I stop. I, I don't, one second. No, no, I don't claim, I don't claim knowledge. No, 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 sorry, sorry. This is, this, this is a cop-out. This is, this is what, sadly, a lot of atheists, when it comes to this, just, just deny God exists, they say, I don't know, I don't know, I don't, I don't know. If I haven't got access to the information. No, 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 it's not access. It's very simple. Logically, what follows is that a necessary, independent, self-sufficient being gives rise to its logical sense. That's a premise. What's that's the a, that's a, that's a, that's a very simple. You cannot have an infinite regress of dependent things. You accepted it. Therefore, no, it requires... Okay, you said, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, logically, which follows is the following, which is very simple. Anybody that deals with logic and rationality will accept that if there cannot be an infinite regress of dependent things, it requires a necessary self-sufficient being that's independent to give rise to it. 100%. Then, then that's a... Yeah. That way. If. No, 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 not if, if. brother, not if, you haven't, you not, not if, I have shown that it's necessary. That it is, it is, because what did I say in the beginning? There is impossible existence, there is necessary existence, and there's, uh, and there's uh, dependent existence, yeah? yeah? You said, can, we said, can there be a necess, um, impossible existence? You said, no, the only two things that we were left with, necessary, nece, nece, a necessary existence and a contingent existence. Yeah. Now, we've got these two. One of them, we have come to the conclusion of, you said, I, I can't talk about it, I don't know. Where does the necessary being play into role then? If this one you're saying, I don't know, okay, no problem. Where does the necessary thing being fit into this? Well, you're presupposing that. You're okay. The question. I, no, 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 I'm not making the question. No, you are, because you're saying, you're saying, Very you're simple. Because your, your, your conclusion did is you, that necessary did you, did is, the, did, is the foundation. Did you, did you, so when you did say, you, where yeah. does it play into role? Well, yeah. you're presupposing it has to play a role. No, 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 no. The, the, moment, the moment you say, I don't know, is the moment where I have to come and tell you where the necessary being comes into play. That's, a, that's an assertion. They call it an assertion, call it a big question. Wrong. You can call it whatever you like. But I believe it's a cop-out. If independent, if you can't, if you can say, if I can say there cannot be an infinite regress of dependent things, and you come and say, that's where it stops for me, I don't know. I see it as a cop-out and I will say, well, hold on a second. This shows the opposite of a dependent, self-sufficient, uh, um, contingent thing is a necessary being that is independent and that is self-sufficient. That is what a necessary being is. I agree. So the opposite of that is what? Something that is dependent, that is not self-sufficient, yeah? So therefore, this must give rise to that. Simple logic. That has to give rise to that. You can't just have this standing there and be like, okay, we don't know. Okay, you might not know. Okay, no problem. But the reality is that we live in a dependent being. We live in a contingent reality, which is the universe. But you can reject it, it's fine. But what I'm saying is the reality is what? That we live in a universe that is dependent. Is the universe dependent or independent? Universe dependent or independent? Yeah. It could be independent. Okay, good. So now what you've done now is you've accepted an independent being. All you've done is you've described it to the universe. Good. So that's, that's, that's good for me. Because what you've done now is you've accepted the necessary being. All you've done is ascribed it to the universe, which shows what? Well, you just you just moved the goalpost. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. Oh, it's a I didn't. I can move it back and say it's another. No, no, no. You, no, you can't. Because what, what did we say? A necessary being is self-sufficient. If there was another god, then how could that being be necessary? What's the, what's the justification for God being? It, it, it can't be because the fact that he's the god. What did I say? Necessary self-sufficient and independent the moment you say there might be another god you haven't understood my premise because i'm saying no, get, this I mean, being is necessary self-sufficient independent I'm saying, I'm saying, if i say if i ascribe the same properties to the universe and you move the goalpost back further step and saying oh or well, the god is the justification for all contingent facts why do i stop there okay but what you've, i've, I've no, already no, said it's the universe no no no, no, no. Back. so if it's not the universe you can move back the reason after the reason it can't not be the universe is further. the reason you cannot say the universe is necessary number one contingent. number one you 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 accept a necessary being. Let's get let, firstly. I agree. No, 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 that's fine. Okay, good, good, good. But so it doesn't have to be good. Okay, good. No, no, no. One second, one second, one second. You have just deified the universe. One second. Look, you're saying I accept necessary beings exist, but why can it not be the universe? Why does it have to be good? When you I'm say not, deified, no, no, no. One when second. You say deified, do you, you, mean, you, you mean a being of intention? No, 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 no. Yes, exactly. but but what I you've done? No, you've done the same. One second. How did the universe come to be? Spontaneous. Big Bang cosmology. One second, Big Bang. What caused the Big Bang? One second, no. Is it chance? Is it a will? Is it what? Did the universe wills itself? No. Okay, one second. Blind processes. So let me get this right. The universe itself is um, necessary, it's dependent, independent, and it caused the Big Bang. So there's a will in place. All you've done, like no. I said before. If you say cause implies intentional states, I reject Okay, the okay, good. So I'm asking you, how did the universe come to be? 
how once can, again. How can I tell you what I don't know? No, 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 no. It's not an argument. No problem. But the thing is, this is a cop out. This is you it's basically say it is, it is, it is. How do you? How because do you, how you've how, look, how look, do you know? Look, 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 look. I can look, ask you. Look, you can, you can no, no, say, we came, no, no, we came to the arguments. What I'm saying is, number one, you accepted a necessary being. You ascribed it to the universe. That's good for me because what you've done is now accepted a necessary being is required. That's good for me. I'm happy with that. I don't, I don't have a problem with that. All I'm saying is, you have ascribed the necessary being, the necessary being that's independent and self-sufficient to the universe, which is a contradiction because the universe within itself is not independent. It is that's not self-sufficient. No, it's not. I reject, okay. I reject the universe. Okay, so in the universe, the okay, in the universe, if there's 24 galaxies disappear, is that still the same universe? So then it's, uh, uh, it's dependent. We're talking about the particulars, not the set. Still, if there's four, ga four galaxies disappear, you said to me, one second, did you just say if four galaxies disappear, that's a different universe? There you go, that cannot be a necessary being, because what did I say about the necessary being? It's self-sufficient, independent. Is it possible for four one galaxies second. to disappear? No, one second, one second, one second. What I'm saying is, understand my definition of the necessary being. A necessary being has, is necessary, is self-sufficient, and is independent. I said to you, the universe that you deem to be necessary, if four galaxies disappear or four galaxies added, is it the same universe? You said, no, it's not. So the moment something is taken away from it or added onto it, it becomes not the same universe, which shows its dependency on that particular thing. Therefore, the, no, no, the, it wasn't dependent. No, 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 no. The particulars, no, no. No, no, so, no, no, no. So God the, can have properties, and if God loses one of those properties, yes. it's still necessary. No, 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 no. One second, one second, one second. God's nature, his attributes, which we affirm, it's all a part of him. We cannot come and say God is the God is there, but he's not the all-knowing. What kind of a God is that? All-knowing. God is there, but he's not the most merciful. What, what kind of a God is that? The point I'm trying to say is this: that we require a necessary being because you gave the attribute to the universe, which I believe is flawed because at the end of the day, like I said to you before, four galaxies taken away, added in, universe expands. The fact that it expands shows you its limits that it's dependent. Well, so a necessary being, I am, of course, that's why I'm proving well, that why it's dependent. The particulars construct the set, but they're not no the problem. set in and of itself. No, no, no problem, One but the, isn't the, the set in itself still, is it the same when things are taken out from it? Yeah, okay, so the particulars no. are not the same, but the set itself no, is still no, the same. No, 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 listen. Remember, I the, define the universe as a set of all particulars, right? Okay. If some, if some particulars are taken out, well, then the universe is still defined as a set of all particulars. Then, then why do you all say, when, then why do you, then, then why do you say when four galaxies are taken, it's not the same universe? Because, 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 the, you, because the particulars are changing. Not okay, okay, but you said it's not the same universe. The set, the set that contains all But you said if the set has particulars taken away from it, in other words, it's not the same set because you said that with the universe. Yeah. So then the set has I, changed. I agree, I agree. If the set is, I hear okay, if the set, is, if the set has changed, the set changes. If the set changes, the set changes then it's dependent. But the problem is, right, so yeah. you're assuming that it can change. I don't believe No, 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 no. Excuse right? me, one second. I agree, I agree. There, 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 are, there are galaxies, there are universes, like there are things that they, they, they burn. They disappear, they change anything. No, no, no problem. So, so the properties are no problem. No problem, but still, is there change that happens? The meteorological parts are still there. No problem, but change, does change happen? Change happens. Anything that changes is dependent. Like within its innate properties, within, well, oh, it changes. Within its, nature. within its innate properties, if for example, it changes, it's dependent. That's why I said to you, and this is what, look, look what makes more sense. You said universe dependent, I mean independent, self-sufficient. I'm saying very categorically, there is a necessary being that is outside the universe, that is independent, that's self-sufficient, has attributes and willed the universe. Which one logically makes sense? That the universe is necessary and somehow willed itself. I never and, and, no, no problem. I'm, 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 okay, it brought about itself without any will but spontaneous. Which one makes logical sense? That a universe that's necessary, but it wills itself unwillingly. That, also, I don't. When you, when you, no, you said it. You no, said no, you said no. There's no will. No, I, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going with what you're saying. I'm, no, saying I'm, I'm saying. I'm saying. I never said. I'm saying. He's. I'm saying the universe unwillingly came to be. When you say unwillingly, unwillingly, you're implying intentional state. No, no, no. I'm saying it has no intentional state. Yeah. It, okay. It's position. Okay. I'm saying unwillingly, it brought about the universe. That's your position. That, that, the, the word you, I, I, I just reject the word you. Use. Okay, no problem. How did the universe start? Okay, the furthest we can go is science. No problem, no problem. Big okay. okay, so right? the Big Bang, there was a moment of explosion. Expansion. Okay, expansion, explosion. What caused it? What caused it? What caused the expansion? I don't know. Sorry? I don't know. Do you know? There you go. Yes, I know. Yeah, very simple. There's a necessary being that's self sufficient and independent, and he gave rise to the universe. You're claiming the universe within itself is necessary, and 
we know from cosmology you said that we go to the very moment where the expand the explosion happened the expansion happened without will without will in your position no will at all there is no will it just exploded what we don't know which one logically follows guys that a necessary independent self-sufficient being with a will has attributes all knowing most merciful the all wise gave say be and it is or the universe within itself which is necessary but when it's necessary it had no will and one day you just exploded. It's not Which one makes no sense, logical sense? To me, the universe, because you're ascribing so, so, so to you, so to you, you think you think there could be a being external to reality, external hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. Of course, you say within the set. You believe that it's within the set of all particulars. You believe randomness. You believe randomness. So what's that? What's that? I'm So what? What? Don't know. What's that? What caused it? Happen necessary. No, no, no. One second. One second. What caused it to explode? I don't know, but it was necessary. Though. One second, one second. What caused, look, how could something that is necessary explode and expand? Because I'm talking about the set, we're talking about the particular. No problem, I'm talking about the, the set. Particular, not the set. No, no, one second. So you're saying the universe was not in that moment. It's, what was the set? So Before it exploded. So we could say, for example, um, all of energy and all of matter. No, no, one second. That, that energy over there, was it a particular or a set? A particular. It was a particular. What's the set? The set is the thing that comprises. One second. It's the thing that constructs it. No. So one second, one second. They are the particulars. Now you're making the particulars the set. No. What is the set? What is the particular in the moment of before it exploded? The particular constructs the set. The particular isn't the set. No problem. Okay. So are you saying those particulars before it exploded is the set in totality? No. Okay. So what is it, Tom? So there are loads of particulars. Each individual particular is just one particular within the set. There's a cons but those but all particulars construct. Okay, the set. what is the set before the, the explosion? The, 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 the set of all particulars. All particulars are within the category of superposition. Right? That would be what all there is at that point. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to understand you here. So we, we had this little thing that was, they say it was like the size of an orange ball, yeah? By the way, guys, everything within our universe was this big, by the way, yeah, one moment at a time. So this thing, is it the set? Or is it the particulars? That thing will be the set. The things inside of it will be the particulars. Good. That's what I'm saying. So this is the set. What's inside is the particulars. Okay. And you're saying this is necessary. The, the, the set is necessary. Okay. Okay. So so so, so 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 at one moment it exploded. Boom. Expanded. Expanded. Yeah. And it's still necessary. The, the particulars. Expanded. Not the particular. Not the, the set. The set never expanded. One second. One second. The set can't expand. It's necessary. It can't no, change. No, no. One second. This you is this, this is the set. The, the particular. This is the, the set. The particulars change. Not the set. This is the set. If the if the the set the set the set the set did it expand? No. The particular because you keep you keep equivocating between the, the, the particulars and the set. For example, energy could expand, but energy is a particular. Is it? I know that. I know. I know. So, I'm, I'm so if I say energy expands, and energy energy creates, I don't know, Higgs boson, all these different atoms. No, no, that's fine. All of those things have just become new particulars. No, I know. And they become a part no, of the I know. Universe. I know. But but the set containing all particulars is necessary. Again, once again, like all I'm just saying is that from your conclusion, you're giving the attributes of a necessary being to the moment of explosion. What I'm saying is that there is a being outside of that explosion and all of that stuff that is necessary, that is self-sufficient independent. We've, we've moved on from the contingency. No, no, we're in the contingency. We're in the contingency. Do you know about the, the principle the of sufficient reason? Sorry? The principle of sufficient reason. Um, for, yeah, for every okay. entity X, if X exists, X requires a sufficient explanation. For every I, entity, I haven't, I haven't y, heard of it before. For every right. entity Y, if Y, if y is it, if I exist, Y. Well, I'm making the inference of the best explanation here. I'm not doing abduction. No, 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 but I'm doing but the inference of the best. You're using deduction or abduction? No, no. Do you have a Spanish Quran? No. No. Uh, look, 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 when you, uh, when uh, you uh, say all of the particulars within the universe, right, are contingent, how do you know that? You do that for induction. Less okay, that's that's uh, what I'm trying to say. So look, I, I understand, but what I'm trying to say is that we have already gone past dependent things within our universe, and you cannot have an infinite regress of dependent things. You said I don't know. You stopped that I don't know. I'm giving the other option, the main option, you which is the most plausible option. Sorry. You said it's impossible. It's impossible. Yeah, I've said, said that. You said you said I stopped. You haven't. You haven't shown. I, I, I have. I know it's a contradiction. I'm saying. I said it's, 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 it, can, it cannot be because you can't have a square circle. Why? Because you cannot. A squared circle has its particular. Yeah. Yeah. So you cannot so, have it. So the contradiction is that the identity of the square yes. and the identity of the circle are the same yes. thing. So yes. the share ontology by being by being different. That's the contradiction. So you use the same kind of. Yes. So I, I am. I'm, say, I'm saying. Of contingency. No, no. I am. I am. No, it is. I'm saying that you cannot have an infinite regress of dependent things. 
you you're keep, saying you keep reasserting you're, yeah, exactly you 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 keep saying that you can i'm no, saying my I'm premise saying no my premise I'm is saying, one second. Saying, i don't know if it's okay what's it no 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 brother it's, can can nothing can zero equal one why not? The why not? Why not? Why not? The can something come from nothing? The can something come from nothing? No, nothing. Why not? No one second, one second, one second. No one second. Then how could you? One second. From nothing, something can't come. Good. You don't say, I don't know to that. But when we say, an in infinite rank, infinite, an infinite regress, brother, brother, hear me out. An infinite regress, you cannot have an infinite regress of dependent things. It's an impossibility. Certain, Brother, dependent things is something that can be when any you other ask, way. When you ask why zero can't be one, yes. it's because zero shares ontology with itself. And one shares ontology is, is the negation of zero. No so problem. I'm going to say no, no problem. can't share ontology is a distinct. That's no the problem. contradiction. Now apply no that same reasoning. No problem. To to, to no problem. I'm not even talking about contradictions. I'm talking about impossibilities. Impossibilities yes. are contradictions. Okay. That's all okay. they tell. Okay. The possibility is to say that it tells a contradiction. What's the contradiction? Okay. Itself? What I'm saying is that you cannot have an infinite regress that. of dependence. That's the proposition. No, 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 brother. The proposition is that can you prove? Can you prove that you can have an infinite regress of dependent things? I haven't made a claim that I can. Okay. You've made a claim so, that you so I, okay. So if you're making, because remember, the it's, it's, very, it's, it's very simple. The is you, exactly. You've made a claim no, 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 no. That's impossible. So I'm saying. You're saying it's impossible. It tells a contradiction. No, no. But the contradiction is you cannot have that's the proposition. an infinite. Okay, that's no problem. It's a proposition. It's not a proposition. That's the that's okay, no problem. That's not a proposition. No problem. That's not a proposition. Yeah? So what's the justification so, for the proposition? So justification is very simple. You require a necessary being to give rise to the dependent things. That's a proposition. Simple as that. That's proposition. Okay, that's fine. So all I'm saying. So you haven't given a justification. No problem, brother. No problem. That's fine. So what I'm saying is very, in a nutshell, that you cannot have an inter, in, infinite regress of dependent things. Dependent things require on something for its own existence. You are claiming that yes or, or I don't know. I don't know is a cop out. Atheists use this day in, day out with us. Do you know? Uh, I don't know. Oh, now he's I don't know. They go with all possibilities. Can it be a necessary being? No. But they would go to absurd claims that um, he's not making that, oh, it can be that infinite, uh, it can be infinite regress of dependent things. They go to all absurd claims, but they would never ever accept at any cost that there is a necessary being. He's self-sufficient, he's independent, he has a will and he will the dependent things. Impossible. I don't, I don't represent other atheists. No, you impress, you impress yourself. And it's very clear. My premise is very clear. You can have an infinite regress of dependent things. You require a necessary being in order for it to make sense. And you, what did you do? You, you gave the attribute of the necessary being to the universe. Why? Because you realize that you require a necessary being. And because of that, good, good. Something needs to be the ground, but it cannot be God. It can be the universe. Because when you say God, I disagree that something independent of time and space can have intentional states. I don't think that's... No, no, but, but that, that's... that's what's that, what's that, what's that, what's that, if you say God it's very simple. Of the you cannot call the universe necessary. Why not? Is it? You, you can't call it yes, yes, I can. Yes, I can. You, because you, the universe, the, the necessary you, beings. Do you know God's, how do you know God's ontology? No, no, no. Necessary, you know ontology? necessary, independent, yeah, self-sufficient. Do you support God's ontology? Right? Contingent, independent, not self-sufficient. Opposite. Look, 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 opposite. Look, necessary, contingent. I understand. Independent, I understand. dependent. Modal, modal logic. Can be, look, self-sufficient requires on something for its own existence. Absolute. Negations of each other. One second, one second. Not just negations, they are opposed to each other. You're telling me this became this. You're saying an independence, an uh, um, independent contingent being became necessary. It's a contradiction. I never, I've never claimed that the universe was, was, was contingent. No, 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 you did. I said it was you did. necessary. No, you, you ascribed it after. I did it. You, you did, you said, you said after. Set is necessary. Okay, can you tell me, can you tell me, set. can you tell me, the universe, does it have a set amount of energy? Then that's, I, co that's I, contingent. I believe so. That's contingent. I believe so. I believe so. That's contingent. I believe so. That's contingent. On the set. That's contingent. On the set. Set, not set. 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 <laughs> Press up. <laughs> set in the gym. Bro, whatever bro, you want to call it. Bro, the amount it's, of it's, energy is a particular. No problem. The, the fact. The fact. Look. Look. Even if infinitely, let's suppose arguments say there's a set amount of energy. Yeah. Even if that energy existed infinitely, it still requires an unnecessary being. Even if that set. So I'm going to go with your uh, claim. Even if the set is infinite, it infinitely requires on the necessary being. For example, we believe in paradise. We're going to go paradise and paradise is going to be forever. But it forever requires on God's existence. So even if I go with that, because I was just trying to get you to think, but no problem, let me go with the set. The set is infinite, no problem. It infinitely requires on the necessary being to make sense. Of course it does. 
set is the necessary thing. No, it's not. No, no, no. I don't make you cannot, you you cannot say, call the set necessary. How, how could the set, brother, how could the set be necessary? Because it is. How, how, how? Tell me. Because it cannot be any other way. Because it's independent. How is it independent? Is the universe independent? Of something else for its own existence? How? Prove it. The set. How? No, no, no. Don't talk about the set, brother. How is the universe independent? Because the particulars that are, yeah. are contained within the universe depend on the No problem. The universe is no, 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 excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Right the particulars P, make the set. Look, look, P and tells the particulars Q. make the set. P and tells Q. The particulars make the set. So, do you mind, so if I'm using modus ponens, no, P no. wouldn't tell Q. No so problem. The set wouldn't tell Yeah, so but P, P doesn't become Q. Yeah, doesn't yeah, okay, there you go, that's my point. So P is necessary, Q is independent. I mean, dependent. So something that's independent cannot become dependent. That's modal collapse. If you're saying P is necessary and P and tells Q, Q is necessary. Okay, what I'm saying is from the from the argument that I'm making is that I'm saying if God is necessary, anything that He causes cannot. Brother, God, if if I believe God Almighty created the universe, the universe cannot be necessary. How can a necessary being make something that's not necessary? That's a contradiction. That's a modal collapse. Argument. What He wills. That's modal collapse. What He wills is different to what He makes. If God Almighty created are you, the universe, are you, are, you, are you familiar with the, with the PSR? With what? The PSR. What you're saying? No, 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 I'm not, I'm not that familiar. I'll be honest with you. I'm not that familiar. Yeah? Yeah, but, but so, 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 that entails, yeah. entails a contradiction. It entails, okay. it entails that there is a ground that doesn't ground itself. No, 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 no. That's what the I'm, I'm, I'm saying. I'm saying if God Almighty is necessary, okay. No, if God Almighty is necessary, if self-sufficient is independent, the creation that He creates cannot be self-sufficient necessary. It cannot be. Because then you've made another necessary being. And if there's two necessary beings, then the necessary within, being within itself will contradict. Because he cannot, there, has to be, there has to be one necessary being. So my argument is, anything that God Almighty brings to be, be it the universe, be it humankind, be it whatever, it is dependent on its creator, on the necessary being. That's what I'm saying. Two necessary but, things can't be joined. No, exactly, that's what I'm saying. So what I'm saying, no, 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 what I'm saying is very simple. Necessary being, when he gives rise to certain things, those things cannot be necessary. That wouldn't follow if you use the modal logic. Brother, I'm not following modal logic. I'm talking about very simple. I'm That's not, what you're playing. No, 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 no. It's very simple. There's the necessary. Because you're playing, are you playing a brother, set? Brother, you ascribe the necessary being to the universe, which is contingent. You're saying, you're saying God, God can have acts? So our God, does God have volition? Does God act on in, in intentional states? Does God what have desires? And he, and no, 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 no. There's no desires with God. God has God, a will. God has no desires. No, he doesn't have desires. He doesn't work with desires. No. Does he have intentions? Of course he has. So he, he has a will. So God is not disposition. He has a will. God is position. What do you mean position? God, God, God has he, he has a will. And, and acts on his will. No, no, no. Listen. Yes, 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 will, yes. Is it the case that he chose to act on his will or he necessarily acted on his will? What he willed was the best. What was, was the best thing he willed? So the negation is impossible. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. What so do you mean God negation? could not have not acted. No, I have to. Is that what you're saying? What he willed is what he willed. We don't go to. We don't go to the next realm of. I don't know how that works. What I know is very simple. You ascribed. You ascribed the necessary being to the universe without a will. Meaning this necessary being just exploded. Just like oh boom. Yeah. Yes. Because, you, because, because you're given you it. Believe necessary. Yes. The beings require intentional things. I reject them. No, no, no. So, so but you can, you, can, you, you can reject as much as you can reject as much as you like. You accepted a necessary being. All you did is ascribe it to the universe, which shows that your God is the universe. No, it is your God. It is your God. Come on. No, no. Yes, you do. Yeah. No, no, you do. You do. You live by it. The fact that, for example, when we talk about, if I come and say the God made this, you say to me, no. I exist within the structure. One second. If I say to you, if I say to you, Allah is the necessary being that gave universe uh, exists in the universe. You say to me, no, Ali. The necessary being is the universe, right or wrong? That's your God. That's your God. If you define God that way, yeah, I define God in that way. I, I, I define God, God basically because I, I believe, I believe everybody believes in a God. Everyone. No, but you believe you're a theist. That's me. That's me. That's me. Yeah, I'm a theist. You're a theist. No, in in the situation. In the situation, you're a theist because you've ascribed God's attributes. You've ascribed God's attributes, the necessary being to the universe. You think God's attributes are theistic, not deistic? No, 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 no. Of course not, because that's what I'm trying to get from. attributes is in. I'm trying to get from. I'm trying to get from theism. That doesn't make sense. Okay, okay. Which one makes more logical sense? The universe is necessary. Did it have a will? No will. So whether it just both for equal logic. No, 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 no. I'm rejecting your intuition. I'm, I'm asking you which one is more logical. My intuition says that my intuition says my my version. No problem. Your intuition says. So let me let me let me. There's people watching, so maybe they can think. A necessary being, self-sufficient, independent. The universe, which you ascribe these attributes, necessary, independent, self-sufficient. One wills 
the universe to come and the other one is the universe and willed itself to explode we'll let the viewers decide we'll let the viewers decide we'll let the viewers decide i've seen a lot of videos yeah, on youtube say, say, say. it was a nice discussion but i think you know it'd be more proof if you speak to my amity job because he can speak on that level okay. It's good, it's good. Like, I, I think I learned a few hits. That's, that's right. no, yeah, no, thank no, you. Thanks for the time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.